Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about evaluating use of hosted versus self-hosted agents. Within this, we will learn about Microsoft versus self-hosted agents and agents pools, etc. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this AZ400 Azure DevOps Engineer Certification course. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So let's look into Microsoft versus self-hosted agents. To build your code or deploy your software, you need at least one agent. As you add more code and people, you will eventually need more. When your build or deployment runs, the system begins one or more jobs. An agent is installable software that runs one build or deployment job at a time. Now let us look into the two types of agents. Microsoft hosted agents and self hosted agents. So, what is this Microsoft hosted agents? If your pipeline are in Azure pipelines, then you have got a convenient option to build and deploy using Microsoft hosted agent. With Microsoft hosted agents, maintenance and upgrades are taken care of for you. Each time you run a pipeline, you get a fresh virtual machine. The virtual machine is discarded after one use. For many teams, this is the simplest way to build and deploy. And you can try it first and see it if it works for your build or deployment. If not, you can use a self-hosted agent. So what is self-hosted agents? An agent that you set up and manage on your own to run build and deployment jobs is a self-hosted agent. You can use self-hosted agents in Azure pipelines and self-hosted agents give you more control to install dependent software needed for your builds and deployments. You can install the agent on Linux, Mac OS, and Windows machines. You can also install an agent on a Linux Docker container. After you have installed the agent on a machine, you can install any other software on that machine as required by your build or deployment jobs. Now let us look into agent pools. So what is an agent pool? Instead of managing each agent individually, you organize agents into agent pools. An agent pool defines the sharing boundary for all agents in that pool. In Azure Pipelines, agent pools are scoped to the Azure DevOps organization. So you can share an agent pool across projects. A project agent pool provides access to an organization agent pool. When you create a build or release pipeline, you specify which pool it uses. And pools are scoped to your project so you can only use them across build and release pipelines within a project. To share an agent pool with multiple projects in each of those projects, you create a project agent pool pointing to an organization's agent pool while multiple pools across projects can use the same organization agent pool, multiple pools within projects cannot use the same organization agent pool. Also, each project agent pool can use only one organization agent pool. And these are the list of organization agent pools provided by default for you. Each of these Microsoft hosted organization agent pool is exposed to each project through a corresponding project agent pool. By default, all contributors in a project are members of the user role on each hosted pool. This allows every contributor in a project to author and run build and release pipelines using Microsoft hosted pools. Let's look at the typical situations for agent pools. If you have got a lot of agents intended for different teams or purposes, you might want to create additional pools as mentioned here. So let's look at some of the typical scenarios when you might want to create additional agent pools. If you are a member of a project and you want to use a set of machines owned by your teams for running build and deployment jobs, then you first make sure you are the member of the group in all pools with the administrator role. The second scenario is if you are a member of an infrastructure team and would, and would like to set up a pool of agents for use in all the projects. And third scenario is you want to share a set of agent mechanisms with multiple projects 
but not all of them. Let's understand how security works for agent pools, which helps you control sharing and use of agents. In Azure Pipeline, roles are defined on each agent pool, and membership in these roles governs what operations you can perform on an agent pool. The first one is reader. Members of this role can view the organization agent pool as well as agents. You typically use this to add operators that are responsible for monitoring the agent and their health. The second role is service account. Members of this role can use the organization agent pool to create a project agent pool in a project. And the third one is administrator. In addition to all the above permissions, members of this role can register and unregister agents from the organization's agent pool. They can also refer to the organization's agent pool when creating a project agent pool in a project. All right, so that concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about pipelines and concurrency. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.